Want to make a meaningful impact through research? Community-based research is one way to do it. With support from Health Canada, the Mental Health Commission of Canada recently funded several projects that use community-based research, also called CBR, to learn more about the relationship between two complex subjects, mental health and cannabis. The path we took was challenging, exciting, educational, humbling, and most importantly, worth it. So what's CBR all about? Well, there's no set of rules or a formal process, but it does have three basic principles. It's driven by the community. That means the research is led by the people in the community being studied. It's participatory. Community members have a meaningful role at every stage of the research. It's action-oriented. The goal is to accomplish something, to gain knowledge and make meaningful change at a local level. These three principles ensure that research is driven by community priorities, where people in the community create, share, and promote their findings together. We'd love to share our CBR journey with you. Come along. Our first task was to get a big picture look at what we know about cannabis and mental health. Digging into the research in Canada confirmed some pretty major gaps when it comes to the experiences of priority populations, like First Nations, Métis and Inuit, 2S LGBTQ+, and racialized and newcomer communities. Once we had a good idea about the nature of the gaps, our next step was to talk with the communities to make sure what we learned was accurate and meaningful to them. That way we could address those gaps together in the new research. Then we created a funding competition and reached out to communities and to people with lived and living experience to support the initiative. This process was new for us, but we welcomed the great unknown with open arms. One of our approaches was hosting forums to talk about the needs of different communities and the goals of the research. Here are some of the things that really helped these local forums. To get the word out about the events, we connected with local organizations. To increase engagement from a wide range of people, we paid for travel and accommodation for participants and provided an honorarium for their time, effort, and expertise. And to ensure everyone's safety and comfort, we had on-site support, including harm reduction services and a counselor. While researchers were working on their proposals, we developed a support network to help answer their questions. Since we wanted to connect with new community researchers, we reached out to ask community organizations in different parts of the country to provide extra support to applicants. Next, we created a review committee to help choose the projects we would fund. This group was made up of passionate people with diverse backgrounds, including researchers and people with lived and living experience. So, what was the result of all this? We can't wait to see. We received 60 incredible applications for CBR projects across Canada, and were thrilled to fund 14 innovative projects, including six that were Indigenous-led. Because they are being led by the communities themselves, we know these projects will help fill important research gaps while addressing issues of equity and representation. We're grateful to everyone who joined us on this community-based research journey. Of course, this is just the way our team did it. Sure, there were a lot of unknowns, but it was exciting to take a path we hadn't yet traveled, and we learned so much along the way. We hope that our experience might inspire you to bring lived and living experience into your research and understand how best to tackle complex issues in our communities. If you think you're up for the challenge, start your CBR journey today. Learn more from the Center for Community-Based Research at communitybasedresearch.ca. Visit our website, mentalhealthcommission.ca, to learn more about the process of how we launched our research projects and about the projects themselves. Thank you.